Hi, Ann. <laughs> so I was born in Edmonton, Alberta, at the Royal Alec Hospital in 1980 at 2.08 a.m. I know that because I looked at my baby book this morning. And also in the baby book, it said, allergic to everything. Luckily, I'm not allergic to horses. And because of that, I became an equine sports therapist. <laughs> It's kind of an odd job to explain on a Tinder date, and even more awkward, my clients take some liberties with it. But ultimately what it means is I do non-invasive body work on high-end competition horses. So just like the Edmonton Oilers have a doctor, sports therapist, massage therapist, I'm that for really fancy horses. How do you get started in that? Well, uh, remember when I said I was allergic to everything? <laughs> well, this is a man named Randy Swanson and he's a chiropractor, a human chiropractor here in Edmonton, Alberta. I've been seeing him since I was 11 years old and he changed my life and I am proud to call him a mentor and one a big inspiration of mine. So my job takes me all over glamorous places like Grand Prairie, Fort McMurray, and the island of Barbados, where horse racing is really popular. And basically, anywhere where there's a horse competition and they need somebody a part of the team, and if you'll pay me, I'll go. <laughs> So I travel a lot for my job, so it doesn't really matter where I live as long as I'm close to Highway 2 and also an international airport. My Jeep Grand Cherokee has 364,000 kilometers on it, and it's my third one. My dad still drives my first one today, and it has over 540,000 kilometers on it. I get around a little bit in a nice way. So when I lived in Calgary, I used to commute up here to Edmonton and I used to stay in the Matrix Hotel or the Westin. And I started to kind of fall back in love with Edmonton when I came here to work on horses at the racetrack. And so, I mean, who doesn't love this city? <laughs> so based on the fact that I love having fun and I love great people and I'm a little bit of a fan of horse racing, I moved into the community of Highlands. And so I can kind of incorporate all three. And I like to have a good Kentucky Derby party, so it fits perfectly. <laughs> Awkward pause, and <Evidence>. uh, <laughs> I was interested, introduced to horses at a young age, and this guy over there is my father, and he's helping one of the girls do some betting, and I, growing up, my dad's nickname was Bookie, and I thought that was a funny made up name, but it turns out it's not. So, horses and horse racing were in my blood. One of my most inspiring clients is my friend Jerry Robertson at 54 years old. She's a, a landmark in Edmonton horse training. Every morning at 4 a.m. she gets up and she goes to Northlands Park from Beverly Heights and she takes care of 24 horses that are under her care. Like this guy, my boyfriend Grady. So if you hang around the racetrack long enough and horses, there's a good chance you might end up owning a racehorse. So, that, that's my guy. He's one of, one of 600 to 1,000 horses that we as Edmontonians have in our backyard. And if you follow me on social media, that's all you're gonna see is Grady looking for peppermints. He's not really a slouch though. In his career, he's 11 years old and in his career he's made $110,000, mostly for previous owners and to pay for peppermints. <laughs> but he is adorable. <laughs> when I work on a horse, this is what mostly what I see. When I'm doing body work on them, they have a relaxed neck and um, just a nice demeanor. A science release for horses is lick, chew, yawn, and fart. That's also why I don't work on humans. <laughs> so most of the time, my horses look like they're 420 friendly. Um, this is Jake. This is Jake, and you can tell by the expression that that is exactly how he feels about me and you both. He has made me a better sports therapist, and he's better made me a better human being, and he only hates me about 30% of the time now, and I'm, I'm calling that a win in my category. Edmonton also has a great treasure in writer Curtis Stock. He's been with the Edmonton Journal for a long time and this beautiful trophy he's won nine times for exceptional writing in horse racing. Nobody
nobody really paints a picture like Curtis does in colors and texture. He just shares beautiful words. He wrote a really great article um, a couple years ago on my client, Leanne Rust, who at 54 years old was the rookie of the year in the Professional Rodeo Association. 54 years old, that's not a spring chicken. She is, she's a very inspiration, inspirational person for people to reach their goals. So I love my city of Edmonton and I love my clients and I like to share both. So here's Leanne at the CFR having Credo coffee on 104th because that's my favorite coffee spot. And she looked out the window and she said, what's that machine out there? And I said, that's called a snowblower. <laughs> they don't have those in Texas. <laughs> This is usually how your love with horses start. It either starts at a young age or it starts when you're older and achieving dreams like my client Leanne. But ultimately, they're a big part of what is involved in my life and I'm passionate also about finding my racehorse clients new careers. So in Edmonton, uh, this little gritty gray on the inside of this wind pitcher, her name is Double Me Trouble, and she raced here at Northlands Park. And I was happy enough to, I knew because of her grit and heart that she would probably make a great polo pony after her racing career was done. And because my client, Al, trusted me, I sold her to a polo pony place. So from Northlands Park in Edmonton to Palm Springs, California, to now Florida playing high-end polo down there. To sum it up, she had a better winter than all of us. <laughs> and she's semi-retired. <laughs> so I'm really just so excited that I get to have a career and that is my passion. And I get to be a part of beautiful moments like this, um, whether they're young or old. And the best part is I get to share it all from the community of Highlands in Edmonton, Alberta. So thank you for letting me share it with you tonight.